Today, I'm going to take you through the building blocks of Crew AI, and I'm going to show you how to build a very simple app using these components so that you can get a good understanding of the framework. Just a few days after I published a video about Crew AI saying that they have 12,000 stars on GitHub, these guys have made it to about 14,000 stars. That's impressive, and these guys definitely move fast. Okay, so what is Crew AI? Crew AI is an open source multi agent framework created by Joao Mora. It's built on top of Langchain and it's designed to help you create a team of AI agents that work together to complete tasks. Now, agents are entities that can act on their own, use tools and other things to complete tasks for you. So, so how does it work? To understand how Crew AI works, we need to go over the following components. First, agents. These are the workers responsible for performing tasks. Second, tasks. These are the actions that agents carry out. Third, tools. These are what agents use to perform tasks. And finally, crews and processes. This is how agents and tasks are organized together. So now you're going to get a much better idea of what I'm talking about because I'm going to write some Python code to show you how to create these components. So let's hop over to VS Code. All right, imagine that you're a blogger and you want to automate your promotion process. This means whenever you publish a new post, you want to automatically send a Twitter update and a newsletter email. We're going to create two agents. The first one is going to get the latest posts from the blog. And the second one is going to transform the content into two things. First, a Twitter post and second, a newsletter email. Cool. We're going to start with the first agent and we're going to call it extractor since it's going to extract content from the given URL. To do that, we're going to do extractor agent from crew AI import agent and the role here could be anything and we're just going to say content retriever now every agent requires a goal the purpose of this agent what is it going to do we're going to say given a url okay also every agent requires a backstory and this is where you can add additional information that you think is important whenever this agent is going to assume its role and we're going to say as an expert at retrieving Twitter and a newsletter email. Okay, true. The second agent is our writer, and this guy is specialized in transforming whatever text we give it into other forms of text. In our case, it's gonna do a Twitter post and a newsletter email. So writer, we're gonna give it a role. It's gonna be goal. We're also gonna do a backstory. And this means that this agent would seek assistance or delegate tasks if necessary to other agents. By default, this is true, but for this case, I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to set it to false. So agent one is going to retrieve the content from a given URL. And then agent two is going to take this content and transform it into something suitable for promotion on different channels. Cool. Agents done. Now it's time to create tasks and assign them to the agents. The first task is fetch. The extractor agent is going to do this task to pull information from a URL. The creator the task in crew AI, we're going to do the following and I'm going to import task and we're going to do description and keep in mind, it's very important to go into the specifics and the details. Whenever you're writing a description for your task, the better the description, the better the output. Now we have to specify which agent is going to be responsible for this task. So we're going to do agent extractor. Perfect. Now we have another field expected output, and this is a required field. What's nice about this is that crew AI lets you specify sort of a template of what the task must look like when it's done. In our case, we're going to do title. Cool. Now we're going to quickly create two more tasks. Those are going to be handled by our second agent, the writer, and we're going to call the first one Twitterize and the second one Newsletterize. I'm fully aware that these aren't actual words, but whatever, just go with me on this one. Twitterize. And our agent that's going to handle this is the writer. We're going to do the same here, expected output. And now we're going to do Newsletterize. Newsletterize. Nice. And the agent again is the writer. And usually when I send emails, I kind of have a template. All right, tasks done. Now the easiest part, we're just going to create a crew and we're going to put everything together. So to do that, we're just going to go here, crew, crew, and we're going to add this here. We're also going to add process and we're going to do agents. This is where we specify which agents are a part of this crew. So we have the extractor agent and the writer agent and tasks. This is where we specify our tasks, fetch, twitterize, newsletterize. And finally, we can specify the process and we'll say process.sequential. This means that the tasks must be tackled in a linear order. So one after the other. Finally, we're going to do results crew.kick 
off and this executes everything and i'm just going to say print results just a couple of things before we execute this first we're going to add a tool for this task so when we actually fetch the content this agent using this task has the capability to actually scrape the contents from a web page and to do that i'm just going to add scrape tool and we're going to define it right now i'm going to go to the top and i'm going to say scrape tool this is a built-in crew ai tool it's called scrape website tool and there are many tools i'm going to leave a link in the description so that you can check out all of the other tools that are available out of the box again since crew ai is built on top of langchain you have access to all of the langchain tools so we're going to do url site url and we're just going to define our variable Perfect. This is the URL. We pass it to the tool. This is the scrape tool. And we say that this task uses this tool. Now you can add other tools, but for this one, we just need the scrape tool to be able to pull the content from the site URL, which we defined here. Now we still need to import the scrape website tool from the optional crew AI tools package from crew AI tools import scrape website tool. And for this to work, we're going to need to install Crew AI tools package. Pip install Crew AI tools. All right. Finally, just make sure that your OpenAI key is set up properly and let's run this. Now I'm going to go to the terminal and I'm going to type python app.py. And there you have it. This usually takes me a lot of time, so that's pretty awesome. We have our formatted newsletter email. And if we scroll up a bit, we can see that we have the tweet. I've dived into the world of Cray AI, and now I just can't stop automating. That's actually not bad. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to show you today. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and you're excited to start automating your own tasks with Crew AI. Remember, while automation can save you time and effort, the human touch is irreplaceable. That's why you could integrate human input during agent execution so that additional context is provided to the agents. That's beyond the scope of this tutorial, but stay tuned because there are other videos coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. You can also find me on X or Twitter. Check out the link in the description and hit the follow button. Before you go, make sure you visit gettingstarted.ai and create a free account to get the source code of this tutorial. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.